hi guys welcome back to my channel and on today's video I'll be showing you how I created this stylish bedside table inspired by Zara design if you're new here my name is Alice and I love to post fashion lifestyle interior and DIY types of videos so let's get started this is the bedside table I'm going to work on. Initially it was walnut color and then I painted it white. As you can see, the paint is coming off and it's no longer looking great. I'm gonna use um, heat gun to remove the paint. Make sure you wear your heat resistant gloves to protect your hands. This is a slow process. So after, after a couple of hours, this is how the bedside table is looking like. Then I went ahead and used this paint and varnish stripper to get rid of the remaining paint. I used a brush to apply the stripper. Make sure you wear uh, protective gloves before you scrub as the stripper is really, really harsh to your hands. And this is how the table looks like after removing the paint on the outside and a bit on the inside. Then I went ahead and painted the table using um, this graphite color. And the final look wasn't what I expected. So it turned out to be a little bit ashy and it just didn't look nice. So I had to strip the paint again and use this washable matte black paint which at the end it was much better than what was before as you can as you can see and compare the two is totally day and night so i like the black color and this is what i'm going to work on and the next step was to create the zara design i'm using chopping sticks and sewing thread snippers and wood glue and a little bit of a um so so i went ahead and used a pencil you can use a pencil or chalk to draw out the pattern where you're gonna stick your um, chopping sticks as you can see this is i'm using a pencil here to do that so i'm going to follow that line and put the glue on it there's two ways you could do that you can either put the glue on the bedside table or you can put the glue on the stick whichever way it doesn't matter as long as the chopping stick sticks to the table and then i went ahead with a um, sew you can use the sew or the sewing thread snippers and snip the um, remaining chopping stick. I use the remaining chopping stick and glue it on the remaining side. So I put the glue onto the chopping stick and just place it there. You might have to hold it for a couple of minutes for the glue to stick and then you move on. And then I had to do the other side design. As you can see, you kind of follow the pattern and do it. I will link everything that I've used on this video in the description box below. So just if you're planning to do this, I would like to see what you've created and how it turned out. So if you'd share, you can share it with me in, uh, you can tag me in my Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram details uh, down below. That would be great. And also if you like this video so far you can give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed to my channel if you could do so that will mean a lot to me so i carried on doing the same thing that i've been doing creating the pattern and gluing the chopping stick onto the bedside table as you can see i tend to use the remaining piece of the chopping stick to complete the other side in doing that way, I kept on gluing the chopping design. sticks onto the drawer to create this Zara pattern until the whole pattern was done. If you're planning to create the Zara design, just go ahead and follow what I've done. And you can use thin or thick sticks depending on what you want to use. So make sure you join the drawers together to have continuous flow of the design so that you can have that polished um, look. Uh, once you finish gluing the sticks on the drawer, then you're going to go ahead and paint the sticks to get rid of any glue marks. So here's the finished look of the Zara Inspo design. Do let me know if in the comment section below if you like the design. If you like such type of videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can also hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.